Welcome to Tickmill Weekly Market Outlook for week commencing the 4th of May with me, Patrick Munley. In terms of data next week in the US, we start with Monday and March factory orders, uh, new orders are expected to contract dramatically as economic activity continues to stall. We also receive March durable goods orders, a final read to confirm collapsing investments intentions. On Tuesday, we get March trade balance. Uh, February showed narrowest, uh, the narrowest balance in three years. Um, we also get April ISM non-manufacturing, expected to fall to a record low as the service sector is hit really hard. We also get a couple of Fed speakers. We have Evans, Bostich and Bullard speaking. On Wednesday, we'll get the April ADP employment data. Uh, initial claims have shown an unprecedented rate of job loss, so we can expect those to be weak. Um, we also get uh, Fed Speaker Bostich speaking again, discussing the, re uh, the response to uh, the COVID-19 virus. On Thursday, we'll get Q1 productivity out of the US. Productivity obviously is expected to stall as the labour market continues to deteriorate. We'll get initial jobless claims. Uh, rate of job loss is moderating, but still at a substantially low level. We'll also get March consumer credit. Jumped a little bit in February and another increase is expected. In, uh, and then on Friday, we have the, the headline event for the USDR uh, April non-farm payrolls. Initial claims are at levels never seen before, so we can expect a real jump in the unemployment, unemployment rate. Uh, median estimates are up to 16.3%. Uh, we'll also get the uh, April average hourly earnings with wage, wage growth uh, will suffer uh, and continue to suffer at, uh, at record levels. And finally, we end out the week with March wholesale inventories. Final uh, prelims showed uh, fall in wholesale and non-durables. From a technical perspective, uh, the dollar index traded down to our target from last week at the 98.68 level. We'll have to see how we open up now um, on Monday and if, uh, if bulls can defend this 98.60 to um, the 98.60. 30 area, then there is still a chance that we get another leg higher to test this 101.50 level. However, if we take out the uh, 98.20, look for a quick move down to 97.28, may see some rotation there, but we would then expect the 98.70 to 98.50 area to act as resistance to ultimately go to the primary equality target down at the 96.20 to 96.40 area. Whilst we're talking about the dollar, let's check in with gold. Um, gold pulled back to retest symmetry swing support, the 1670 area. As bulls defend this area, there's still a chance we get a test up to the primary equality objective at the 1766. Would be anticipating we see sellers here watching for uh, key reversal patterns at this level uh, for a more significant um, corrective phase. However, if sufficient supply doesn't enter the market at this 1770, then we can look higher for a test at the 1850 to 1880 area before seeing a corrective phase. In Europe, uh, on Monday, we get the May Centix Investor Confidence Reading. The survey's already at the lowest level on record, so we're not expecting anything uh, spectacular out of there. On um, Tuesday, we get March PPI. Energy prices fell sharply in February, and so that's likely to see a weak read on that data. On Wednesday, we get European retail sales for March. Flash GDP was already identified a record collapse in activity, so we can expect those to be weak. On Thursday, we, uh, we get German March industrial production, uh, poised for one of the largest falls on record there. And, uh, and, that, and then on Friday, we round out the week with German uh, March trade balance, uh, likely to be squeezed as exports have come under significant pressure. And the euro recovered from the support area that we highlighted last week. We're now testing the initial resistance at the, uh, the 110 level. Uh, a failure to get a close above Friday's high could see another leg of weakness, ultimately trading back down in the current range to test the 107.70 area through here. And we'd look for the uh, downside of quality objective at 106.70. However, if we can get a sustained push through uh, Friday's high, then we have uh, the top side of quality objective at uh, 112.80 as the target on the upside for the week. In the, um, in the UK, 
uh, pretty light on data next week. Or well, really, all we've got is uh, is on Thursday we get the BOE policy decision. That's going to be the focus, and the focus will be on the assessment of the asset purchase program and its uh, and its efficacy with respect to the uh, the economy. From a technical perspective, um, Sterling failed to take out this 126 again, and we saw a key reversal inside day, bearish inside day on Friday. If we take out Friday's lows, I'd be looking for a move back down to test support at the 123 handle. Um, from there, we'll see if buyers step back in. If they do, then we could uh, we could be back up looking for that test of uh, the 128 target. If we can get an early reversal and take out uh, Friday's highs, last week's highs, then again, 127, late 127 to 128.17 is the upside objective. But if we see another failure, um, once, we, once we base at 123, if we can't get back through 124.70, then I'll be looking for a move down to test the, uh, the prior lows in the range here at 121.60. In Japan, uh, again, pretty, pretty light data week. All we've got really to look for is uh, Friday's March household spending. Uh, precautionary savings are expected to dampen household spending as uh, as the, um, the consumer and households are, are uh, concerned about economic growth and activity. So that's the only piece of real data that we're going to get um, out of Japan next week. And from a technical perspective, we continue just to um, to grind lower here in the um, in the dollar yen and what we're looking for really now is a move down to test this equality objective at the 104.60 certainly as this uh, as this range resistance continues to hold that's what we'll be looking for however if we can get a close back through 108 then that would set up a test of range resistance to 109.50 in australia um, the key focus uh, for the data next week is going to be the April payrolls data um, from the ABS weekly update reveal likely to reveal a sharp fall in employment. We also get March retail sales. Preliminary estimates showed extraordinary stockpiling surge in, uh, in Australia. We get Q1 retail sales that will drive the biggest quality, uh, quality volume really um, since the great financial crash. And then we, um, we end out the week in Australia with uh, RBA statement on monetary policy on Friday. And the forecast is to update the economic impacts of the uh, post-COVID uh, environment. From a technical perspective, the Australian dollar couldn't, uh, couldn't take out the 65-60 uh, the area. And we saw some profit taking into Friday. Looking now at uh, the first support area at this 63.70. If we can find buyers here, um, then we could still see a push for that uh, upside objective at the 67 handle. However, if, uh, if buyers don't emerge at the 63.50, then I'm looking for a deeper drop to test the 60.50 area as the next level of support. And that concludes the weekly market outlook for week commencing the 4th of May.